in your industry, is it is it male dominated? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Very. So how how does that feel for you as a woman out on an island? <laughs> <laughs> you get underestimated a lot. <laughs> I, I, I'm sure you do. So yeah, I, I want to hear a little bit more about that as a, you know, as a female leader and especially as, you know, as a woman who started her company very young. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, they're, you know, young males are doing that all the time, right? I feel that, um, <clears throat> it's a little bit of an, it's less of an issue now because yeah. we're a known quantity and people are right. used to me. Right. But in the very beginning, being under the age of 30 and a woman, um, mm -hmm. In an industry that ha most of the leaders are very, very, they're in their 50s um, yeah. because it takes a really long time to build the amount of knowledge that you need mm -hmm. in order to lead a company or, or uh, a development group or something right. like that. Um, and so people's reaction were like, who, who are you? <laughs> what are you doing here? I've been asked for, you know, you go to a conference and um, it's 500 men in suits and, and, and me and, um, <laughs> and the staff, right? <laughs> and so, you know, you know, hey, do you know if they're going to, you know, are you guys going to bring more coffee down to this? I think this is empty. <laughs> like, I'm like, no, I'm a... I, I actually, I'm here for the conference. Um, oh so, God. you know, there's the, those types of things. I've been in situations where um, negotiating um, an equipment purchase, you know, they can be up to half a million dollars or more. Sure. Um, and, you know, working with the team who's um, potentially going to disassemble and, and decommission the tool and to asking mm -hmm. them, you know, questions like, I don't see the cryogenic pump uh here on this tool does you know where is it has it been removed did i just not get a picture of it and they're like oh no it's there and i'm like no it's not there and and they just they don't they don't understand that that you are actually you know that you might have more technical knowledge about that subject than they than, do, than yeah. they do. and so mm -hmm. um you know you can work that to your advantage as well <laughs> but it's it's a little bit it can be a little bit lonely and i think now yeah. at least um, in our industry, we're having, we have more women graduating with these, um, really right. amazing technical degrees. Mm -hmm. The trick is how do we make sure they don't select out, self-select out? Yes. Um, how do they, how do we make sure that they're supported enough as they start families? Because, um, it's tough if you're a nursing yes. mom and you are trying to manage an engineering career, <clears throat> that's, that can be, yeah. um, it can get to the point where you just feel like it's not worth it. Right. And, and I think a lot of women decide that they're going to focus on family instead. Yeah. And, um, we need them. We need them yes. to stay engaged and involved. In fact, our whole here and just wasn't on purpose happened um, just because they're great. So our whole executive team right now is women. Your whole executive team is what? Our women right now. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, um, and it's just ask because they're that. they're great. I mean, they've done an incredible yeah. job. They're they're at the top of their field. Um, they're learning. They're growing, and and they do an amazing job. Do Do you know Jessica that I think, and I've written about this, and I should just know this number off the top of my head. Women in executive leadership roles raise the revenues are directly responsible for the revenues of the comp of a company going up something like thirty percent. Wow, I haven't heard that. Yeah. That's good there's for me. Lot, there's been That's a, great for me. <laughs> well, you, use the Googler. Uh, there's will, a yeah. lot, lot, a lot, a lot of research that is yeah. really coming to head now, talking about the benefits for a company of women in the executive leadership roles. Wow. Yeah. Did they, is, did they indicate why? Like, is it due to some sort of creativity or just a different perspective? It, it, I, I think, I, I think, yeah, it, it is. And, and I, I should know this off the top of my head. So I'm going to, I'm going to speculate a little bit. I don't, Yeah. but, but ultimately I believe as a woman, <laughs> right. <laughs> that we think about, we think in many ways differently than men. Mm. And I, I, at least myself, I, I have no use for politics, none, zero mm. politics in our political system, politics in my business. Yeah. I yeah. don't want it. It doesn't belong here. And I, I think with men, there's, there's a lot of jockeying around. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And I am making a blanket statement, so I don't want to get any hate mail. Okay. When this comes out live. 
No, there's there's definitely differences yes. in uh, management style in the approach to right. working with others. I mean, there's mm-hmm. you know that's why I think for for us too, having diversity is is actually really important. Not yeah, well, not diversity, you know, for the sake of it, but because it they because right. different people bring yes. those of course special they ingredients, do. We're, right? Yep, and in fact, yep, yep, yep. Same thing, you know. If you have if you're too lopsided in one area, yeah. Um, Stuff starts to, you know, yeah. I've been doing this for what almost twenty years now, so we've seen both both ends of the spectrum, mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, mm-hmm. you know things can fall apart pretty easily if uh, you know if you don't if you're not honoring all of the different right. you know perspectives that people bring. So, Carol Schultz here. Thanks for watching this excerpt from Authentically Successful. The conversation doesn't end there, so if you want to hear this episode in full and all my conversations with many other successful founders and CEOs, please visit verticalelevation.com slash podcast.